what is up you guys I am back <laughs> I had to take a hiatus I still should be taking a hiatus but there's so much going on I'm trying to clear my second room out and put a bed in there I totally had to take all of the clothes off my Poshmark I had so much clothes <laughs> probably like maybe a hundred and eighty items probably close to yeah about 180 ish items um, clothing items on my Poshmark and I'm no longer selling clothes if I do it is like things that I know for sure that will sell like Disney um, the dresses that are from the dress store on this downtown Disney I don't know if you guys remember you have to go back and look at my videos but I had found a dress in the thrift store and it is from the dress store um, in downtown Disney here in California and um, the dress I went in anyway I'm going into a anyway long story longer <laughs> I bought the dress for $6.99 it sold for four hundred and no three hundred and eighty dollars I think it was um, but it's a highly sought-out brand of Disney clothing that people really really buy apparently um, so things like that clothing like that that I know for sure is something that will sell I'll sell on there but uh, other than that I basically took everything off of uh, Poshmark um, clothing off of Poshmark I took some stuff to Plato's closet it's a buy sell trade store I made very little off of it they're very picky and it's funny because they have Shein clothes in there and yet they have the nerve to be picky but anyway whatever um so a lot of stuff good stuff i gave to my niece and my cousin they're petite and i had you know i should have gave the the lululemon to them i ended up selling it for like 10 bucks but um they already have lululemon but um you know just a lot of really nice stuff uh, made well um i have one niece that's like a um what do you call it a minimalist she only wears neutral colors and so I had this beautiful beautiful dress from Lulu's and it was linen and I it was with tag and everything a lot of stuff with tags went to them and that went to my niece and she loved it she wore it she really likes it anyway you guys it's just a lot going on uh, anyway I was trying to say I shut down I mean not shut down but took a lot of things off my Poshmark it just took up too much room and I have a whole second room here that, you know, I have relatives that come in from out of town that could be using that room. My cousin that comes over, she is now seven. She's almost set, um, eight in November. She's getting too doggone big to be sleeping in my bed. Um, I mean, I don't mind. She's a kid and I have a queen size bed. But, um, you know, she, I snore and she gets scared when I'm snoring. But... I have a feeling even if I did put another bed in the other room, she's going to be scared to sleep by herself. So I might have to like fall asleep in there with her or be in there while she falls asleep and then go in my room. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of things in my house. I have been getting rid of so much stuff, you guys. I literally want to get rid of, after even getting rid of those clothes, I still need to get rid of at least 70% of the stuff in my house. I have way too much stuff in my house and it, it's just ridiculous I have in a two-bedroom apartment it's expensive um, and I, I should appreciate it because I pay the least amount than anybody around here um, and so yeah you know and I just I want to be more comfortable here I want to be more relaxed and I feel like I'm stressed with so much stuff including the toys that Zoe has here um, I spoil her I do um, her mom doesn't let her have a lot of stuff uh, because they're living in a small a small space as well um, but I end up spoiling her and buying her stuff and then now I got a lot of stuff here so we got to get rid of some of her older toys but anyway nonetheless I went shopping again you guys <laughs> yeah but I've been real good with Dollar Tree I have been really good I've been stepping out of that place spending seven dollars five dollars I've been really good so this weekend I said let me go to Dollar Tree and I've been hearing of so many cool things that are coming out at Dollar Tree I did go to food for less because I was craving a mango so I'm gonna show you stuff from food for less my groceries I guess I'll do a grocery haul then I'll show you my stuff that I got from Dollar Tree 
And then I'm gonna start off by showing you just a few things that I got here from Timu. Yes, I'm still on Timu, you guys. And fall is here. I'm gonna be sipping on my McDonald's coffee. Yes, my mask, uh, Mac, Mac Cafe is the best. <laughs> and currently, you guys, I'm working on this and I need to finish this. This is going to be, I have a whole bunch of these mini Lego uh, Sanrio characters over by my TV. I bought them for Alicia, I mean Alicia. Alicia is Zoe's mom, my seven-year-old cousin. But I bought them for um, Zoe, but then I'm scared to send them home because one, her mom might throw them out, and two, she might break them. They might fall apart. So I wanted to show you this one that I'm working on now. And like I said, there's a bunch of little characters over there. Uh, this is probably gonna be, no, I have a Karomi over there, <laughs> the one with the ears, so um, the black ears. So I'm gonna make this one and the Karomi, put those over there and that's it because this can get, get out of hand, they're addicting. Another thing, <laughs> I'm just kind of picking up stuff that's around here right now that I recently, because I just the other day picked this up. You guys, I'm just realizing how wonderful this thing is. This thing was in the store in Dollar Tree months ago and I waited a long time to finally get one. Actually, I got one a long time ago but I didn't try it. I didn't realize this thing was so bright and I love this and I want to pick up at least three more. This is nice if like my niece has this huge deck, even in the house, like during the holidays, if you have like a party, like a nice little chill party, which I'm trying, that's another thing I'm trying to get my house together because Kayla suggested that I have like a nice little party over here, you know, just come over like for Christmas during, you know, to have cocktails and, and you know, orders and stuff like that so can you imagine my living room being all dark and then I just have like four of these sitting around lighting it up probably have a smaller light too but and then you know just chilling maybe you know have people over it Kayla she does this thing where she has a um during Hall Halloween she has a really big deck Kayla is my niece she has a really big deck um, um at her house and it's got like patio furniture she's got a pit barbecue pit I mean um you know a, a a pit where you warm your hands you know I can't remember what you call it fire pit and um this would be nice sitting out like around in that area or um she usually lights candles and what she does in the fall is she has a party and uh, during Halloween uh for people to come over to watch Hocus Pocus that's one of her favorite movies I love it too but um she'll have everybody come over to watch hocus pocus and then she'll have candles she can have these out and then they're having hot cocoa or pumpkin coffee or maybe pumpkin bread and you know they're watching that um so i was thinking these would be nice to get get for her as well so i might get three more for me and uh four for her if i can still find them i did go i'll probably go tomorrow morning to the Dollar Tree that's way out in um, in Hawaiian Gardens. I want to say I saw them have some of these, like a lot of these, but I hate that I didn't grab them early on. I've been seeing a lot of people haul them, but these are so nice, you guys. I don't even know if, but you see how bright it is on here. It's just, oh my gosh. And then at night when everything's dark in here, and you could like my cat was just like looking all around like wow you know it's just it's so amazing I don't know if you guys can see the glare and this is in the daytime can you imagine at nighttime oh I hate that I didn't grab and then all it is is it comes off and you put regular batteries in here this also twists off and three double A batteries go here and then you just pop this on and it just illuminates and then there's a switch I mean these are so nice you guys I hate that I didn't pick these up. And see, that's the thing. It's like I'm trying to restrain from Dollar Tree, but now I'm like, wow, I should have picked this up, more of these up. So I am on the lookout, definitely on the lookout for these. These are really nice. And I think my niece would really like those too. Another thing that I got the other day was uh, cocoa butter oil. I like to buy these, um, you know, you can use this for skin, you can use this for hair for nails, um, anything. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed this. This is a new brand I've never seen. Um, so like I said, it's cocoa, uh, cocoa butter oil. And so I bought that. 
And then bouncing on to, let's see, is that all? Oh, then at Dollar Tree the other day, I found these. These I'm gonna use for cleaning because I am gonna I need to do a real deep cleaning in my house. I don't like to do a lot of deep cleaning in the summer. I like to wait till the fall when it's cool and I can really get down and, you know, not sweat myself to death. <laughs> But I bought these, and these I want to help in my kitchen. My kitchen does not have good ventilation through the, the vent that's over my stove. And I th want to say that they closed that vent, because a long time there was a, a bumblebee in my house. And I told them, and I think they had somebody go up there and close that vent, and that's probably what happened. But um, nonetheless, I still need to clean my walls. Um, so these screw onto your mop. And then you can give them a good, you know, um, I'll probably put like OxyClean on there, do like a nice little mixture in a bucket and then clean my walls. That's what I mean, deep cleaning. I mean deep cleaning. My kitchen really needs a deep cleaning. And I also need to get, again, rid of a lot of stuff. You guys, I have things in boxes. I have a, um, I have a Ninja Foodie in the box. I have a mixer in the box. I have um, a juicer in the box. I have an air conditioner in the box. I mean. It's just so much stuff that I have and I'm like, you know what, I, it's time to take all that stuff out and it's time to get rid of other things because it's just too much. <laughs> so anyway, I like these because it has a scraper here. I don't have anything to scrape off my wall. I just need to clean. It's kind of, you can see it's like, like it's oily on my wall. So I need to do a really deep cleaning all over the walls and everything. The, the property manager said they would come out and paint, but I don't even want them to come in and paint over oil. I want to clean that oil up first. So I got that. And then going to my, oh, also you guys, Dollar Tree had these. And oh my gosh, these, I have been looking for these for so long, you guys. So many times I've been looking for these tissues. They're so nice for the car. I, and you, I was just in the back seat of my car. Do you know I have two big boxes of tissue like that in the back of my car. I didn't even realize I had them back there. And I'm like, and I left them in the car. And then I just put another box in the front seat and one of the, no, I just put two of these in there and another uh, smaller box in the front seat. There is so much tissue in my car. So I need to go out there with a the bag and grab all that tissue. Cold season's coming up and I'm gonna need it here in the house. My uh, little knee, or my little cousin does have a cold right now. She had a fever too. Um, I've already sent them home with boxes of tissue and I sent two of these home with her But um, you know they, her mom can put or I give it to her mom and I give her one So her mom can put one in the front seat and then Zoe can put one in the back seat next to her um, booster chair in the car so Getting on to the online purchases you guys um, this is the most wonderful time of the year Yes this is the most wonderful time of the year. Fall is coming, you guys. It's coming with a vengeance. And I love the fall. I love everything about fall. I love pumpkin. I love apple. I love squashes. I love everything. And I went on Timu. Of course, they're teasing me with the stuff, the fall stuff. And so I bought these little stud earrings. It's a little acorn. And it, what's funny is, you, when I put these in my ear, people ain't gonna know what that is, but I'm like, whatever. I used to have three holes in my ear. I let the last two close. Now, had I left them open, that would have been cool to put the squirrel. By the way, I almost hit a squirrel. I watched a squirrel get hit the other day. Now I'm like so nervous to drive when squirrels are in the um, street. Today I was coming home and a squirrel ran to the middle island and there's cars coming this way and it got nervous and I was coming and I'm like, oh, it's gonna dart back in front of my car. So as I'm coming up, the squirrel stops, looks at the other cars on the other side and then comes back this way and I slam on my brake. Now I'm like scared to even run over a squirrel because I literally watched a guy go out of his way on the way to work, swerve over, hit the squirrel and kept going and the squirrel was flopping all in the street and I saw guts and I am so traumatized and I darn near cried that day and I just, I don't even want to think about it. But there's the squirrel. Yes, I had to do that, you guys. So I got some, my first fall earrings and I already have some from last year. I love my little seasonal earrings. This is the time of year where Halloween and 
Well, although I don't, I try not to engage too much in Halloween. If I do, then it's not demonic. Um, you know, I just try to subtly um, celebrate it. And, um, you know, that's why I said with Hocus Pocus, Kayla does that, not me. Um, I feel like, you know, as a Christian, it's kind of, you know, I... It's just me. Some people, some Christians might be like, oh, no, it's okay, or whatever. And some Christians will be like, no, you should be watching that. I personally don't think I should be watching it, especially if it's witches. Um, something like Charlie Brown, you know, Pumpkin Patch or whatever, you know. Not that I watch that, but you know what I mean? If it's a more subtle Halloween thing, yeah. But, you know, I just have to kind of... I know, and it's so fun. I used to, Halloween used to be my favorite um, you know, my favorite, um, holiday, but yeah, no, it's Thanksgiving actually. Well, it's Christmas, but it's, it's the holiday from after Halloween on up to Christmas. It's that whole season in between. Once Christmas comes, it's like, uh, it's over. Let's take it down, you know, and I don't think this year I'm going to really put too much up I never do but it's just heck getting my tree out and decorating it but anyway so yes on Timu I did buy these and those other ones are also from Timu by the way so I had to get these and I'm gonna try to speed up a little bit because I'm trying to get everything in my little haul um, I'm just coming back and like I said I haven't been on here in a while and I thought um, you know, I wanted to change up my channel, but we'll see. We'll see. It's just a lot going on right now. I'm trying to do so much. My house is a hot mess. <sighs> okay, so these, I saw these last year, and I said, eh, maybe next year I'll get them. So I saw them again this year, and I got them. I thought they are going to be a little bit more shiny and transparent, but they're nonetheless, they're still really cute. So I got me some little pumpkin earrings. Hope you guys can see those. Let me see if it's my dark, ashy skin. <laughs> you guys, I ordered glasses um, from Kaiser. I'm just waiting for them to call me for them to be ready. But, oh my God, my job gave us like 50% off of frames. And I can't remember all the... I ended up paying like 40-something dollars for the frame, the prescription, all that. It's like a special that they're running through our insurance. And they do it once every 12 months. But yeah, every year I try to get glasses, take advantage of that and get glasses. Well, I try to, but for some reason I'm hitting the two year mark because I don't really have strong prescriptions, but now I do need reading glasses. I bought these because it is that time of the year for election. Um, I'm not going to get political. Most people know what we need to do. Everybody knows what we need to do, but most people know what's going on. Anyway, so I won't go into detail with that. But I bought these flags. You know, um, I just thought it's that time of the year. I like them because they have like that clear, um, it's like a clear, what you call it on the top of it. I don't know. I don't know if you could see it. See how, uh, let me take it out of the bag. I'm sorry, you guys. I should have had this ready. This is going to be a long video, so I will grab something to drink because I haven't even got to today's stuff. Um, so, yeah, grab you a drink. Get comfortable, you guys. Um, so, anyway, I bought their flags. Oh, it's upside down. How dare you, Sandra? And then it's like that kind of bubbly, clear-ish stuff. But, anyway, yeah, I bought those. I just that time of the year you know I want to represent wear my little flag um, so that's that I think I ordered like six of them maybe maybe more I don't know got them on Timu they're really cheap actually it might be on the little paper how many they are mm, eight piece I think this is eight nope six piece <laughs> you guys my eyes are so bad now anyway so I'm gonna go on oh one more thing I did buy a table runner a fall table runner I don't like how when you see it in the picture it's real clear and precise and you get and it's kind of blurry I mean it's still cute I'm still gonna use it but um, yeah it's a table runner it was very cheap um, it was either the lace one or this so I went ahead and picked this so after I get my table cleaned off I'm gonna put a runner on it I have a round table too they say you shouldn't put runners on a round table 
but I am. So anyway, we're going to get into, um, maybe I'll get into a grocery haul first, and then we'll go back to Timu. So my grocery haul, you guys, I only went there to Food for Less to get um, mangoes. All I wanted was mangoes, and I came out of there. I mean, it's healthy stuff. It is Labor Day weekend. I am off three days, like most of us are. <laughs> but um, it is Labor Day weekend, and I wanted to get a little something that I can make for Labor Day. Um, I might go back out tomorrow and get um, mushrooms. Uh, onions I should have grabbed onions I like to grill vegetables and then um, like cut up sausage and put it in there so I bought some links I should have brought some, I might buy some zucchinis too but anyway I bought some of these and just make a little vegetable mm, sausage barbecue grilled barbecue not barbecue because I can't barbecue in my apartment <laughs> but anyway um, I'm gonna I have, I love grilled bell peppers. Love, love, love. So I'm going to cut these up. Um, like I said, I'm going to buy some, um, I'm going to buy some uh, zucchinis and mushrooms. Oh, and pineapple too. And I bought some cucumbers. My cousin loves cucumbers and she got me thinking, oh, I like cucumbers too. I always got that from my mom, but now she's got me craving cucumbers more. The other day I had a cu cucumber. I cut it all up for her. She's seven years old. I cut it all up for her. She ate every last one. I sliced them up in thin slices. She ate every last one. She loves it. She loves salads too, which I think is really, really good. And so, like I said, I went, I was craving. They had them for 99 cents for a mango, which is very good right now because everywhere I go, Last week, I got a small one for $1.28 at Walmart. Now, these are nice size, and they're 99 cents. So, get out and get your mangoes now. And I'm thinking I'm going to eat one tonight. <laughs> then I'm going to cut some other ones up. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about making an... I don't know. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. And then also, I grabbed some... 50-50 blend salad mix. You guys, I used to be able to get a salad mix like this for like $2.20, maybe dollar something if I catch it on sale. This was $3.99. I was just like, wow. I mean, it's just amazing how groceries are going up. You know, I just went to the bank and because, um, because of the amount that I have in the bank, and we have our money in a trust for my mom when she passed away, I get, used to get free checks. Now they stop that. Now we have to pay $5 for a money order. I was just like, wow, this is crazy. Everything. They're not forgetting anything. They're like, oh, wait a minute. We forgot something. We forgot to go up on checks. Oh, wait a minute. We forgot to go up on eggs. Oh, wait a minute. We forgot to go up on gas. Oh, wait a minute. We forgot to go up on insurance. Our insurance here in California is going up. I don't know if it's everywhere or just California. Going up 50%. 50% for car insurance. Oh, my gosh. You guys, it's crazy. I don't. I just don't understand it. I got pineapple cottage cheese. I got. Um, I never can say this. Ch Chobani Greek yogurt. Let's see. You know what? I want to see something. I didn't even look at the count on this because my eyes was acting up. We're acting up. Oh, 15 percent. Ooh, carbs. Wow, it's a lot of carbs. It was another one I bought last week, and it was only eight carbs. And I thought I, I don't know why I thought these were it, but these are from Food for Less. They were I bought the other one at Walmart. I just couldn't remember which one it was, so when I go back to Walmart, I'll be able to tell what it is. But anyway, I bought the blueberry. I bought cherry. I bought raspberry. I bought pineapple, and another pineapple. And so I bought those. And then the last thing I bought at the grocery store is Italian dressing. I love Italian dressing, my fave. And I, this is the kind I want, like the one is not uh, zesty. And I'm gonna eat that with my salad. And Zoe, she likes Italian dressing too. I was really shocked. She likes ranch, but um, she also likes Italian dressing as well. 
Okay, so I think that is all of the groceries, and I will put that. Oh, also, I bought some Carb Master multi bread, multi seed bread. I love breads with seeds in it. I don't know why I'm like my mom. My mom loves things with, or when she was alive, she used to always like when she made toast. The toast had to be like almost burnt. Like she likes that crunch. She loved seeds. She loves all that stuff, like crunchy things. When she cooks stuff, she has to make it like extra crispy for her. Um, she just liked crunch, you know? And I'm the same way. I like all the seeds and stuff in my bread. I love it. So anyway, this is a low carb bread. It's four grams per slice. Um, so you always gotta look at the, the um, serving size when you look at your labels. So it's eight grams of carbs minus total dietary fiber, which is four grams. So it's four carbs, but that's per slice. So if you have a whole sandwich, you're eating eight carbs, um, eight grams of carbs per that cent, plus whatever you put on it. So anyway, but that's still a good deal. I think these were like three something. I normally pay like five, six dollars for my low carb bread at Walmart. So Food for Less does have this brand. It's a Kroger as well. And it's a little bit more carbs than the one that I usually buy, but it, you're saving money. Yeah, I pay five, six dollars for a low carb bread. Isn't that crazy? So now you guys, I'm gonna go on to, oh, my cable, like when I don't turn the cable on, my smart TV is on. They have these beautiful views of these different scenes and they're just catching my eye. That's why I keep looking over at the TV because they change like it's water now. And they just had this big area where it's like candles that were going like in a swirl and it was just so beautiful. It's just so relaxing to watch. But anyway, yeah, that's why I keep panning over there. See, now they have this dark fall roll and they have candles going up. It's like a road. And then it has candles going up the road all the way up through the trees that are fall trees. Oh, you guys, I, I just love the fall. Right around the corner when I um, go up the street, during the fall time, it's all the trees turn so brown and red. And oh, it's just so beautiful, you guys. And you would never think it's California, but it's beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to get into the uh dollar tree stuff you guys yes i went to dollar tree and i it's not that bad but for me for where i want to be as far as shopping it is a lot um to you guys it might not be a lot how much did i spend let me give you a total it was like 40 dollars i think 40 something dollars 43 dollars that is a lot <laughs> now i like i said i was trying to stay under ten dollars for a while i managed to do that and managed to just stay out of dollar tree but now that i'm back <laughs> i found some really nice stuff you guys and i need to go through my cabinets and get rid of some plastic bowls that i have here what i need to do is start cooking and send stuff home <laughs> with my cousin uh in those bowls but anyway um yeah, so I found these, you guys. I should have probably got the ones that had the blue in it, but that's all right. These are nice. These are little, you guys. These are not like the big ones. Now, let me show you the big ones. These are what we're used to having. Now, I have these. I have one that I have at my job. I accidentally brought it home, though. But I usually put my salads, like I buy the salads, the pre-made salads, I cut up an avocado and I put it in my salad. I put all the salad and the dressing in there and I shake it up so it can coat everything. And yes, I've been doing that long before. There are Kardashians. <laughs> I noticed that they do that too. But I've been doing it for years before the Kardashians even came out. But um, yeah, I, just, I love these bowls. These are so nice. So like I said, I need to get rid of some of the bowls that I already have because I don't have space to put these in the cabinet. And now they have the little ones, you guys. The little ones you can put cereal in. You can take things to work in. Um, you know, you can store food, uh, cut up an onion, have somewhere to put your onion. Um, you can prepare your salads for the week and cut up your onions in one, your um, mushrooms in one, your 
cucumbers in another and then just or your garbanzo beans i like to add garbanzo beans to my salad sometime and then all you got to do is just come out put your salad in your big bowl and then put your whatever you're going to add with it and then um yeah just fix, fix your salad every morning or put it together every morning so i did manage to get two of those these are so cute you guys i love these and then I bought, now I was, Zoe is um, now back in school. She went back to school on Wednesday, Tuesday. Tuesday she went back to school. Poor baby, she went to school and her mom had to come get her, pick her up early on the first day of school and she was sick the last day of school. But she did go, she, was, she didn't go the second to the last day of school, but she went the last day of school, but she wasn't feeling good. And then I believe and when she was in TK, same thing, her last day of school, she was sick. I don't know what that is and she's never sick any other time and so yeah she went to summer um like to summer school not summer school it's like summer daycare with her school they have after school care but during the summer it continues on and they stay there for the whole day and um it's just the summer program they call it a rat program anyway so she might have got sick there i doubt it because they take the last two weeks off before they go back to school but anyway she ended up getting sick and she went back the next day second school, uh, day of school she still doesn't feel good she has a cough but the second day she was still warm but i had to pick her up but um i, I don't know why i just went down that street but anyway i bought all her stuff for back to school for her i told her mom I will buy her back to school stuff when she goes to school and I did and I bought her these tissue not these but I bought her some tissues to put in her backpack and so but they were different they had different design on them and so now I finally go back and I find the Barbie ones so I think I, I bought these I think I'm gonna give these to her to put in her backpack isn't that cute <laughs> I love this so yeah when I give her these to put in her backpack um, probably down the line she doesn't need them now because she has so much tissue now <laughs> and I needed these for work um, I've never seen these kind of bags have you guys I've seen sandwich bags but these look like they're open like they're wide on the bottom so I'm gonna open these right now just to look at them um, I was looking for sandwich bags um, you know for work but now that I saw, oh see I never seen these and then it has numbers on it, I guess, for the date or the amount of days that you have the item in here. You can write on here. And these storage bags, they flatten. I've never seen these, you guys. They flatten on the bottom. So look. That's nice. Yeah, circle, circle month and day. Oh, okay. Oh, duh. I didn't even notice that that's the day of the month so they have january all the way through december first or whatever so you can date yourself and see how long you know before you have to throw it out i guess <laughs> but these were nice and i did grab two of these did i i thought i did i might maybe i didn't i probably should have though these are really nice to have so there are 17 17 in there and they're by sure fresh these are really nice, you guys. Really, really nice. Those are probably out for back to school. And I bought another one of these, you guys, because one's going to be for the bathroom. So when I, um, these seem like it'd be nice to, I mean, I have mops. I have all kind of stuff to wash the floors and, and stuff. But this seems like it'd be good to get in them corners. You know what I mean? So I got that. And maybe, maybe I'll use this just for the bathtub. I don't know yet, but I got three of them now, so... And then I bought, finally, you guys, I have been looking for these for so, so long. And I'm going to be giving these out to family members. Um, I am starting to buy little things here and there for their uh, stockings. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm going to be doing this year. Um, I told everybody I was not buying gifts this year because I have a New York trip planned. And I am going to New York this year. I don't care. And I need to save up probably about $3,000. Um, I don't think I need to save up that much. But the, the trip itself, <laughs> you know, I'm way down in California. So you know that plane ticket's going to cost a lot. Um, but airfare, hotel, uh, breakfast, um, transportation to and from the hotel and the airport, 
all that included is going to be about 1900 for five days i think five nights um so which i think is amazing so yeah i have and i then of course if i'm going to new york i heard it's expensive like it is here um so yeah i do want to um take at least a thousand i don't know but anyway so back to <laughs> back to this i found these you guys i have been looking for these tongue scrubbers for so 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 long i have been looking for these i finally found them i'm going to start saving things um you know saving um little things like this for stocking stuffers so i bought one of course i'm going to use i'm keeping the purple of course i think i bought a second purple but i bought six of them i bought a purple one I bought a blue one, I bought a green one, and I guess they're in the other bag. Let's see if I can dig them out. An orange one, uh, blue, another blue one. And where is it, where is it, where is it? There they are. A purple one. And then I, somewhere in here, wait, oh, that, that's it, yeah, because about five, me one and then five. So, yeah, these are amazing. So, yeah, bought that. Then, at my job, we have eraser boards all over. Now, we have an, a new building that I work in. We used to have an old, older building. It was condemned, and we built a new building, and now we're in our new building. And so... In our new building, on our desk, in all different places, weird places, we have eraser boards. And we knew that, but and when we first moved in the building, there were eraser, these uh, dry erasers all over, and then they took them all. I don't know if they took them all, if they got lost, whatever, but even on our desk, there's a spot where you can write, like when you pull up to your desk, there's these little walls. There's places where you can actually write on that wall and so there um i said i was gonna buy me an eraser uh ex expo eraser dry eraser whatever it's called um i was gonna buy this to see how it works on there so i got that and i ran out of ketchup i have very little ketchup left so i said let me grab some ketchup at dollar tree i don't know why but i feel like this shrank like it's smaller than the one in my refrigerator. But anyway, whatever. I got ketchup. I always try to look in there. I saw this YouTube video or this um, video from, uh, what is it called? Um, Instagram. And it had tomato sauce and it was all kind of maggots in it. So I always, when I buy stuff like this, I'm always like, let me check my ketchup. Okay, and then... Peanut butter. You guys know I gotta have my peanut butter. It was so funny. I went to the register and the lady was like, how is that peanut butter? I said, it's the best peanut butter I've ever had over any store, other store peanut butter. This peanut butter to me is amazing. I love it. I love peanut butter in general. I will eat the peanut butter out of this jar. Yes, I will. And I do. <laughs> but their peanut butter is by far the best peanut butter to me. I saw somebody haul this, and I know Zoe loves, Zoe is my little seven-year-old cousin, again, once again, she loves anything that has to do with play food, dishes, restaurant, we always have to pay a restaurant, she likes minis, like food, play food, dish, um, all of it, and so I saw somebody haul this, and I said, I have to get this, Zoe she would be amazed with this and what it is they there's two of them i did not find the other one the other one was in a gray pan but this one is in a black pan and it is a hamburger i mean the whole fixings for the hamburger and fries and zoe is going to love this now i'm debating whether i should keep this for her birthday or just give it to her i really do need to start saving things for her birthday I have a lot of things in my closet right now. Um, Christmas is coming. She is the only one that I'm buying Christmas gifts for because she is a baby. She, well, she's seven, 
by, by Christmas she'll be eight. But um, she's the only one I'm buying like presents, presents for. But everybody else will be getting little bags with little stuff like this in it. But anyway, yeah, I thought this was so cute and she loves stuff like this. So this will be put away for either her birthday. Her birthday's November 1st and Christmas, of course, you know. Her mom's December 2nd. It's just everybody's birthday's clustered. Yesterday was my sister, but I did make an announcement to everybody that I am not buying Christmas gift this year. Second bag, uh, another peanut butter. I believe I bought three of these. Yes, I did. So another one. Um, I bought Pringles. This is my guilty pleasure, you guys. This and peanut butter is my guilty pleasure. I keep buying these things. They're so I love Pringles. And people ask me, what's your favorite kind of chips? Cheetos and Pringles. I can do without them. I, I do like corn chips, but I don't like like Doritos. I don't like, I do not like Doritos. I do not like hot Cheetos and like the hot stuff. I love spice, but I just don't like it on a chip. <laughs> My coffee's getting cold. Also, I was looking at the sandwich bags, you guys, and I went down this aisle and they had these all in the cart, like they were putting them out late. Everything's always late in Dollar Tree nowadays, but these are look like they're back to school Ziploc bags. And they have this little character on them. And I don't want to open this because I might end up giving this to, Kit, to um, Zoe. Um, yeah, her mom can probably use these for Sam. Well, I already bought her so much Karomi from Timu. Uh, it's the, one of the Sanrio characters. She wanted everything Karomi, so I got her a sandwich box. I got her these other little boxes. Her mom can go and buy salads and different things for her and little containers for her to put dressing in. You know, she can cut up some tomatoes and cucumbers and stuff for her. Um, but anyway, she really doesn't need these bags. <laughs> I'm probably going to leave these here because I don't think her mom will even use them for anything because she's got everything for lunch, her lunch bag. And then I needed more trash bags. Um, I go through these fast because, like I said, you guys, I am getting rid of so much stuff. I have bagged up so much clothes. I got rid of, like, five huge bags of clothes. And every time I think take things over to Play-Doh's closet, it is in my trash bags. And I had, like, four bags of these, and I'm, they're all gone. And so I needed more bags. And, of course, when I, I go to Dollar Tree and I get a chance, I buy these. I take one to work and I put one in the cabinet. These are their um, Splendas, but they're by Equal, so they're not as they're not as uh, sweet as Equal, or as Splenda, I'm sorry. They're not as sweet as Splenda, but they do the job. Um, I'm trying to cut back on these things, but it's so hard. Um, because, yeah, they have the sucralose and all that stuff like that is not good for you. But I bought them, you know, whatever. There's so many other things bad for you. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, so I saw somebody haul, uh oh I saw somebody else haul these. They have these in jelly bean. They had them in all kinds of different candy flavors. I don't want to smell like candy, but I do want to smell like coconut. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I grabbed these. There's another brand that they had at Dollar Tree that I use in the shower right now. I can't remember, but it's supposed to be like a dupe of Native. I don't know how true that is, but I like the smell of it. And I've been using it, and it works well for me. And so this one's gluten-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and phthalate-free, phthal whatever that means. So anyway, it's in coconut and it's called Personal Care Body Wash. So I grabbed that to see what all the hoopla is about that. Now everybody I know that's been grabbing and saying it's good. I mean, everybody that I've watched on YouTube. <laughs> and then my favorite, favorite, favorite Dawn is the blue one like everybody else's. Now I have that upside down thing and it's running out, so I feel refill them with these. So I'm gonna be refilling that today. You guys, I use Dawn on everything. The wash that I for my wall, I'm putting OxyClean, a little bit of Dawn. It's gonna be hot, hot water, and I use that. Only thing is I gotta get down there and wipe down the walls, you know, after 
what I usually do is I wipe them, I scrub them with this and the OxyClean and hot, hot water. Scrub it just to loosen up that oil and get it off of there. Then I'm going to go up there with um, Win Windex. Windex really cuts through grease too. So I'm going to go up there and spray that and then wipe down the walls real good. Um, I like these things because, okay, let me put this down. I like these things because they come off and you can wash them. And so, yeah, I really, really like that. And so, I mean, it's got styrofoam in the middle there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got styrofoam there in the middle. And yeah, it's just, to me, I think it's really good to, I did order something on Timu. It's a brush with a handle. I'm gonna see if I can find that as well. That, I need that for the shower. Cause I'm, like I said, I'm doing a thorough cleaning. I went ahead, I'm almost done you guys, went ahead and grabbed some of these. I like these you guys. For some reason I like these blue drinks. And I think Labor Day I'm going to make me some blue drinks. And um, they're really good and flavorful. I do like to add like the lemonade with it because I always like a hint of lemon in my stuff. And it looks like this has lemon in it. Um, oh shit, it's called Ocean Water. It's from Sonic. And it says... Um, I don't like the red one. I, I realize I don't like the red one. The blue one I like. I just add a little bit of lemon juice, which I forgot to pick up lemon juice. But um, it just makes it a little tangy. Um, it doesn't say what flavor it is, but it is showing lemons in there. And it does taste like it might have lemons in it. This one's red, so this will turn totally, or it's like pink, so it'll totally turn the color different. But these I like and it's the prettiest blue I'll have to show you one day but um anyway so I got two of each and then there's my third peanut butter I like to make three ingredient peanut butter cookies one egg one cup of peanut butter and about a third cup of Splenda or if you use sugar I would use a half cup of sugar but it says to use a cup of sugar but it's only those three ingredients. I swear the cookies turn out like you put flour in it and you didn't. It's so good. And then second to the last thing I want to show you guys. Um, I like to have these in my purse. Um, just to have, you know, if you get a craving for something sweet. I love the high chews. I love them. I saw this one's the new one. This one. No, oh, these aren't even... I thought I was grabbing high chew. This is called Mamba, and it's it's chewy, but it's called Mamba. It's not high chew. I've never seen these before. I'll have to taste them. Matter of fact, I'll taste one in front of you guys. But anyway, I bought a high chew. This is my favorite with the mango in it. Of course, I love mangoes. My mom's from Jamaica, so yeah, we're mango lovers. And so I'm gonna ch t chase. I'm gonna chase these. I'm gonna chase all these down. Um, but I'm going to taste this. I didn't know I was grabbing this. Mamba. Mamba fruit juice. Isn't that, uh, Kobe Bryant's name? Mamba. I have no idea what it means. So I grabbed one that, let me see, what flavor is this? You guys, I can't see. I don't know. Maybe it's lemon. I can't tell. Is that a lemon? Is that, yeah, that is a lemon, huh? Lemon. Mmm. It tastes like a high chew. Mmm. High chew's better. I think high chews are a little creamier. This one's creamy, too. Mmm. It's good. Yeah. It tastes just like a high chew. Ooh, I might have me a new candy. It feels like there's more in here. This one is 3.5, <clears throat> 3 3.52 ounces. And the high chew is 1.94 ounces. Wow, you feel the difference. Mm -hmm. You get more in there, wow. These are amazing, you guys. And there's different, there's strawberry. Not really a, friend of straw, a fan of strawberries. Raspberry. So there's orange, raspberry, and strawberry. And I just had a lemon one. Why isn't lemon on there? Hmm. Well, there it is. Strawberry, raspberry, orange, cherry, and lemon. 
These are good mambas, you guys. Check them out, mambas. I must start getting those. You get more in there. I mean, this one is just green apple and mango. Love those. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you guys. I had to get it, you guys. I had to. Like, I need another mug. I don't need another mug if it saves my life. But when I saw this, I said, oh, I will be getting it. I put it, I actually put it down and went back and picked it up. Aren't they, it, you guys, I love this so much. And I could just see myself drinking my little coffee and getting my little, I need to go to Ross or TJ Maxx and look for my little pumpkin spice. Their cups are always by the same people, Nor Royal Norfolk. Always the same. It's probably from Norfolk, Virginia. That's where my brother and sister's from. But yeah, I'm ready. I am ready for the fall. Cup and all. Yes. Yes, you guys. Look at that. I'm so ready. This is beautiful. And it's just simple. Now, they had a white one. And then it was, or like a cream one. And it had like, I want to say it was blue stripes in between. Not stripes, but like a faint. You know how pumpkin has color inside of here? So it was like a white gourd with like fine blue <coughs> going through. Of course, orange is my second favorite color. So I got to get orange. But... That's it, you guys. That is the end of my haul. We're 51 minutes in. I'm so sorry, you guys, I haven't been here. And I thank you for welcoming me back. Welcoming me back. And I didn't get anything purple. I just got... I said on my little YouTube videos, I was going to announce that... Um, you know, my little purple stuff at the end. I forgot to separate it. But here it is. This is the only purple that I found this time. You guys know my favorite color is purple. Love, 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 love purple. It puts me in my happy place. So that's one thing I'll be added to him. Adding, be adding to my YouTube videos and my hauls and stuff at the end, showing you what I got purple. And that'll just be my own little thing. Anyway, yeah, you guys. So thank you for joining me. If you guys are still here, I mean, I, I don't have many. <laughs> subscribers but if you watch this all the way through please leave me a purple heart i will appreciate it um any if you don't i still appreciate you guys thank you so much i hope you guys are out there being blessed and taking care of yourself hope to see you guys soon hope you guys come back um and stay tuned for the next one talk to you later bye